Hi, I'm Kat the Book Tart, and I'm going to show you my most recent book haul. Before I do that, I want to show you my new dress. It's from Mod Cloths, and it's perfect. I love it so much. It spins. It's a good spinny dress. Okay. <laughs> oh, the brand is called IXIA. Ixia, maybe? I'm not sure. All right, so my most recent book haul. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven books. Okay. On the top, I have Tracy Garvis Graves on the Island. And this one, I believe it's considered women's fiction, um, though it's a romance. I don't think they categorize it in the romance section. I read about this book a few weeks ago when I had tr um, Tracy Garvis Graves part of an event and I read about her hero and the storyline and I, I'm i going to read this. It's about um, a 17 year old boy and his tutor and they're marooned on an island for years and the relationship that develops. It looks really really good. Okay this is called The Water Witch. The Water Witch actually came out I believe last Tuesday um, or the third I think the third Tuesday in February. <laughs> I remember seeing it when I was looking through the new releases and thinking the uh, description looked amazing and I needed to read it and then I found out it was a sequel so I had to get the first book. The first book is called The Demon Lover. This series is by Juliet Dark and I've read some reviews that they kind of say it shouldn't be in the paranormal romance genre it's more fantasy maybe so I'm very intrigued it says dark develops a complex detailed world where magic reason and gothic literature enjoyably intersect and uh, the heroine is named Callie and I can't wait to read these and tell you about them the um, they look really really good okay Ooh. Kim Harrison's Ever After. This is in her Hollow series, and I've been reading these books since I actually, years ago, at a book convention, I received an advanced reader copy of her very first, um, first Hollow's book, Dead Witch Walking, and fell in love with her writing. This is urban fantasy with demons and witches and fairies and vampires and lots of other fun beasties and, uh, lots of grey. Nothing's black and white. So, um, Ever After? Oh, I think I already mentioned this one, Scarlet. This is the sequel to Cinder. Cinder is a, um, the series is YA. It's by Marissa Meyer, and I'm very, very eager to read this one. Um, her series, the arc of it's pretty cool. Cinder is Cinderella in a different world setting. It's futuristic. Scarlet is Little Red Riding Hood and her future novels in this series, it's a four book series, um, involve uh, Rapunzel in a tower, but the tower is orbiting Earth. <laughs> it's more of a space station. And Snow White. So um, I highly recommend, well, I've read, I've read Cinder and I recommend it and I'm going to read Scarlet. Ooh, I just got this one. J.D. Robb's Calculated in Death. Now, this is her In Death series with Eve Dallas. It's an amazing mashup of police procedural, mystery, romance, romantic suspense, um, futuristic fantasy world building. I, it's really good. And I love that even after 30 books, um, I'd have to count. I don't know what number this is. I've, I'm have i caught up though, so this is the only one I need to read, which is pretty exciting and kind of rare for me. I'm behind on a lot of things, but not on this series. <laughs> I love Eve and Rourke. They're one of my favorite fictional characters. They um, Their relationship keeps getting deeper and stronger and it's beautiful. So that one. And then I have Unravel Me. I don't know that I can say her name, Tahera, Tahera Mafi. This is a YA novel as well with a really cool cover. It's the sequel to Shatter Me. Is that what the first one's called? I should know that. Um, 
so yes okay uh, and it's a dystopian future and the it's a little bit of paranormal power supernatural gift kind of thing in the heroine and there's politics and romance and adventure and I'm looking forward to reading Unravel Me. So that's my most recent book haul. Make sure you stop by thebooktart.com for book reviews, book chats, author chats, contests, and uh, me. <laughs> All right, thanks from the Booktart.